In this example, it looks like we have ourselves a matrix equation. Okay, on the left side of this equation, it looks like we have matrix multiplication. And on the right side, we have our product matrix. So let's go ahead and, you know, like we should with matrix multiplication, just look at the dimensions first and make sure everything lines out okay, that we don't have any problems with the dimensions. Because remember, matrix multiplication sometimes is undefined. Okay, so the dimensions here, we have one row and three columns, so it's a one by three. And here we have three rows by two columns, so it's a three by two. These values in the middle are the same, so we're good to go, because remember, the number of columns in the first one and the number of rows in the second one have to be the same value, and they are. They're both three, so we're okay. That means the dimensions of the product matrix, it'll have one row and two columns, so it'll be a one by two, and you'll notice, uh, yeah, this is one row with two columns, so we're good, good to go. Okay, so multiplying this first matrix by this second matrix, I get this basic uh, matrix with just two entries, negative one and positive one. So let's go ahead and write our matrix algorithm down here and line things up. So we have our first matrix, which is that one by three, and its entries are A, two, and B. And the second matrix, we're gonna raise that up a little bit, and those entries are Let's see, four, negative three, five was zero, two, and one. And then in a different color, I'm gonna go ahead and write this product matrix. And again, I do it this way because I think it does a really nice job of visualizing uh, what's going on here and how things are lining up. Okay, so this one by three was being multiplied by this three by two, and here's our product matrix here, kind of in this purple color, light purple. And uh, so this negative one came from this row with this column where we were multiplying these consecutive terms and then adding all those products together. So first term was A times four, so four A, and then coming across and down, two times negative three is negative six, and then finally B times five is five B. We add all those up and we got this entry which was negative one. So if I go ahead and add six to both sides just to kind of get my numbers all together, it looks like 4a plus 5b equals five. Okay, put a little asterisk next to that. That, that seems like a really important equation. I'm gonna hold on to that. Okay, so now coming across this row and down this second column, I'll get this entry, so one. So a, which is the first entry, times zero, the first entry. So a times zero, well that's just zero. So coming across the row and down the column, two times two is four, and then b times one is positive b, so we're adding all those together, and I get a one. Oh, so it looks like four plus b equals one, so if I just subtract four from both sides, I'll have b isolated, and I'll actually see that b is negative three. Okay, easy peasy, not too bad at all. So if b is negative three then, Let's just go ahead and plug that negative three value into this other equation. So 4a plus five times b, and b was negative three, and that's gonna equal five. So 4a minus 15 equals five. We have a nice two-step equation. Let's start by adding 15 to both sides to start to isolate that a on that left side. So it looks like 4a equals well, five plus 15 is 20. So a uh, quick division by four will leave me with A equals five. So in our case of this matrix equation, we'll come back up here. So I take this matrix, which was a one by three, multiplying by this three by two matrix. I end up with this one by two product matrix. And this whole thing is true as long as my value of A is five, and my value for b is negative three. And if you want to, you can go ahead and plug those back in and just kind of ensure that they work, and, and you'll see that they do. But uh, ultimately, what we did was we walked through this multiplication uh, procedure or algorithm, and we wrote a couple of equations based on all the information that we knew, and then we just solved that system of equations to get these two values for our variables.